Shrouded in Mist. It's available at Amazon.com. And uh, Peter, I was wondering if you could give me your take on life after death. What happens to us when we die? Um, I like to start, um, how long is our segment now? We've got about three minutes. Oh, three minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I better cut this short. Um, it all depends on where your head and heart is. Mm-hmm. Now, the ancients um, refer to uh, what the Kabbalah calls the tree of life. Some people call it the involution of spirit and the succession of worlds. What a physicist would call the Big Bang, the Hindus would call um, the exhalation of Brahma. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Sometimes a violent death keeps people from believing or understanding they have died. And consider this expression for a moment. All things exist in the same space, but on different dimensions. And there is the path leading beyond the Big Bang. Now, we are physical and intellectual, as well as psychic and spiritual. Our physical, intellectual capacity is our body, our ego, our identity. Um, We are not our body, and our body is not us. Now, sometimes a violent death keeps people from believing or understanding they have died. And this is usually temporary, but love seeks the light and the divine, and this being will transcend. To love and be loved is the catalyst for surviving one's death. It is said that all memories of love remain while the poorest memories reside in the person's shadow, their vehicle, or the shell of the person that was once there, their personality, or their identity, that eventually fades. If the soul does not separate from the shadow, it is then that they wander through the shadows of their previous life. The violent deaths are those spirits that yell and wail and don't really understand all whom they have loved cannot see them. But when they are ready, they too will return. The most pitied are those with anger and resentment for loss of life or a deep lust for physical being. Their desire for living is so great that they will not to leave. When they see they cannot participate in the objects of sensation and desire, they are said to go mad. These are the lost souls, the chain bangers, the wall pounders, the malevolent spirits who are said to be living in hell on earth. Their loss, confusion, and denial of their very existence leave them trapped. Peter, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been a great pleasure talking to you, sir. Continued success. And we'll have to continue this conversation on in another show because I know you and I still have so much to talk about. Wonderful. That would be so great. And thank you again for inviting me. Mr. O'Lawler, it's been my great pleasure. Exonation. Peter O'Lawler has been our guest this hour. If you'd like to find Peter's books, just go to Amazon.com and in the top search, just type in Peter O'Lawler. That's O apostrophe L A L O R. We'll be back after this news break. Don't go away.